I remember when the first email came in. It was just an ordinary day, not like any other. I was uh, starting my morning off, like I usually do, checking my emails. I saw the first message from the student, but I really didn't read too much into it. If only I realized it was meant to be a warning. That fish. That's around the same time the first packages came in. I remember I was sorting through the mail and I saw a package labeled fish and nothing else. But I just threw it in the mystery packages and clocked out for the day. I was putting together the mystery package email and that's when I noticed that every package had fish, fish, fish. Months later, my entire inbox was flooded. It was just the same email over and over and but over. But we weren't the real victims. It was the students who lost everything. They were the real victims. I was sitting around with the boys, minding my own business, you know, when my mom called and said she was going to kill me. I remember opening up my bank account and my heart just dropped. I asked my mom what the hell was going on, and she said, I'm going to kill you. You just maxed out my credit card at Bass Pro Shop. All of my money was gone. The packages kept piling up and up and up, and nobody came to claim it. It was all from Bass Pro Shop. All of it. There were fishing rods, fishing lures, and even a few live fish somehow. When the students figured out what was happening to their money, the school descended into chaos. We had to get to the bottom of it. People had lost their life savings. This was a real problem now. I started with the students who had lost money. I asked them if they had gone on any weird websites or given out credit card information. Like, We're getting barraged with all these weird questions. Uh, did you buy anything off weird websites? Did you get any weird emails? That's when we had our first lead. Congratulations, Madeline. You have been selected to receive two unawarded scholarships totaling to $5,000. These scholarships will be deposited directly into your bank account. Please follow the link to Roger Central to reconfirm your bank account details. Please confirm the information before 5 p.m. today or else the scholarship will be considered forfeit and awarded to another. At first glance, the email seems fine. It's supposedly from myself and it's asking students to just fill out some info on Rogers Central. But that's when it all begins to unwrap. The email shows a number of red flags. When the email tells you that you have to answer before five, that's a tactic that makes you rush. If you stop and think, the school has never done anything like this before, so why now? Also, the school should already have your bank information. So why are they asking for it? I four when I got the email. I, just, I didn't want to risk losing money, so I just went along with it. If you look at the link closely, it's a tiny URL, not the normal Rogers Central link. We follow the link through. It looks like Rogers Central, but the details are off and the URL is wrong. This is what we call phishing. Through this site, the perpetrator was able to get usernames, passwords, and bank account information, everything he needed for his plot. Through tracing the IP address of the website, we found out who did it, and it was none other than a student at Roger Williams University. I thought I knew him. How could he be such a monster? <laughs> Do you know what this is? Maybe. Now, did you make this? Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I did make it. Why'd you do it? Because why not? It was funny. But why fish? Because I like fishing. Ha <laughs> ha.